Could inflation be entering a new world order? Hi, I'm Jeffrey Roach, Chief Economist for LPL Financial. And in this Econ Market Minute, I'll discuss some nagging pressures on inflation, some uncertainties about future inflationary path, and a little bit about what central bankers are talking about right now, including the risk of a new world order. Before we talk about that, let's talk about more recent events. So latest inflation data show that the PCE deflator, which is the Fed's preferred inflation metric, is starting to decelerate. In fact, it decelerated for the third consecutive month. February core PCE was at 5.3%. The following months declined. Our latest metric is for the month of May, and that showed a 4.7% growth rate in the core PCE deflator. Still extremely high, still much higher than the 2% target the Fed prefers. However, there are some green shoots, and it's fair to say on the core side of the equation, inflation is clearly decelerating. The best way to look at inflation right now, highly nuanced, but it's to look at goods inflation separate from services inflation. So for example, goods inflation covers inflation on used cars. It covers inflation on anything that's a durable good, something that lasts more than five years. But at the same time, as consumers are more interested in travel and travel related activities and services, you do still observe in the economy higher prices for accommodations, for car rental, for airlines, for restaurants, all of those travel related services are still accelerating, not on the path that the good side is telling us right now. So let's talk about the bigger picture. Is inflation hitting a completely higher regime? Something interesting when we think about this 2% level. Nothing magical here, but it is a fairly standard level across other central banks as well. And so I think that's one of the things that our own central bank, the United States, is interested in doing here, looking at the 2% rate and targeting something that has been uh, consistent over the last several years. The 2% target is something that folks are encouraged and uh, comforted to think about, particularly those that trade in the fixed income markets. But here's the bigger rub right now. So many central bankers met in Portugal the last several days, and one of the discussions surrounded the risk that inflation is hitting a higher regime. The risk is, as Powell said just the other day, central bankers actually need to push economies into recession in order to handle this incredibly high inflationary environment that we have. So could we reach a new world order? Could central bankers actually move the target rate? The answer is probably no. I think Powell and team will stick with the 2% target rate. I think the fact that we're, we're seeing goods inflation tone down and decelerate and we're starting to see the beginnings of supply chains improve, the bottlenecks resolve a little bit as we saw from the latest ISM numbers. And so at this point, I don't think that it's in the cards that inflation will hit uh, this new world order and perhaps they'll move the goalposts as it were. So where are we? Where should we go right now as we sit and watch the markets? Let's wait through the summer months. Let's see how the travel related sectors handle this pent up demand, this surge for travel related services. And let's see how pricing pressures react as consumers move into the fall, as school begins, travel season ends. And at that point, I think we're at a much better uh, place to, to watch where inflation will go even in 2023. So a follow-up question is, well, what about recession? Will the Fed 
purposely push the economy into recession. Clearly, recession risks are rising in 2023 and 2024, probably not this year, as we see some green shoots again for growth and modest deceleration and inflation. So let's hang, hang tight. Let's watch as what happens as the peak travel season commences and perhaps as we go into the fall, let's watch those inflation metrics. And that should give us a little bit of a better uh, perspective about this quote unquote, new world order. Until next time, see you then.